Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is my first impression review of Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon. This is a re-release for a game that came out on the Xbox 360 and PS3 back in 2012. This is the 2017 re-release that came out on the PS4 and the Xbox One. This is the first time I've ever played this game. I never heard anything about this game however i did see that there was a new one coming out and i got pretty interested in looking at the reviews and i figured i'll give this game a quick go uh, first impression um it's definitely a slightly older game but it still it holds up all right for how old it is um the difficulty as far as i can tell is somewhere between like skyrim and witcher 3 the gameplay is more or less kind of like a mix between witcher 3 and red dead redemption 1 uh your character does move a lot like john marson does in red dead redemption 1 um the fighting styles however are a little bit more like witcher 3 or witcher 2 the largest monster that i've encountered so far was a cyclops and i was actually able to grab onto his back and attack him while on his back which i thought was really interesting um just to let you know this game does not hold your hand and won't really tell you where you need to go you get um followers that are called pawns in this game and these pawns they apparently appear out of nowhere the game states that they aren't quite human but they're human enough and they are basically at your disposal i suppose that's why they call them the, their that they're pawns um ironically enough the first pawn that showed up in my game was called rook which is funny to me but anyway so i went through the the first town and i went to the the second town it's a little bit up the way and i've talked to random npcs and got some uh quests which it's on sale right now for four dollars and 49 cents it's on sale for the next seven days i believe the last day that it's on sale is july 31st 2024. i'm going to touch base on the npcs uh, the pawns for example they kind of do their own thing they do follow you but they will like search random stuff they will gather stuff they will find items they will destroy items um and they also give you a little bit of, you know, hints, tips, tricks, or whatever in certain areas and certain places. Um, right here, I went into this well. I probably shouldn't have. It's really dark, so let me uh, brighten this up a little bit for you. And now you can actually see. And in this well, I probably shouldn't have been down here yet. Um, uh, granted, I did get some some better armor than what to start with. My weapons were still the base weapons I to start with. And I don't think that my character was ready to be down here. So I went down here. I searched a little bit. Um, this game looks like there is a good little bit of like, exploration. The map, as far as I can tell, seems to be fairly large. Um, if I would have to guess from what I've read, the map is a, about half the size of Skyrim's map. So the game's not huge, but it's big enough. And um, yeah, I, I searched this cave a little bit. Uh, you do get lanterns to use. And these lanterns actually help brighten caves and wells and dark areas up. I was not aware that you can buy oil for these things. However, I found a local merchant in the first town. And um, I, I also found excuse me a traveling merchant in the first town and the local merchant in the first town actually sold me oil and multiple uh lanterns uh while exploring this cave i didn't use the the lanterns because uh, at, at this time i didn't know that you can actually get multiple ones but yeah apparently you can and i got destroyed by these little crocodile looking creatures i thought there was only one or two of them it turns out there's a lot of them down here and they kind of kicked my butt so uh, that was my fault i came unprepared because i didn't know what i was going to find here it's unexpected what i found in here i thought it was just going to be a quick little you know thing to check out apparently there's a lot more to it than i thought um uh, but regardless of getting beat up pretty bad um i did learn the fighting system better Besides me getting destroyed, it was fun. It, um, the the combo system is similar to what you find in like an older fighting game, I guess, because you can combo your 
light and your hard uh, attacks. And with this type of character, um, I have a bow and arrow and I have uh, daggers. So you can kind of like switch between the two. Uh, this woman was just a random person that decided that they wanted to start talking to me. And apparently, I can actually buy stuff off of her. So I had, I guess, uh, you, uh, uh, a follower or a pawn. I'm not sure which one she is because I think there's a difference. Um, there is a side quest that I am going to be doing shortly to bring her to another part of town. However, until that side quest is completed, she is following me just like a pawn would. So cool i kind of have a uh, traveling merchant with me right now um, but anyway i wish i had a little bit more uh gameplay i wish i kind of spread out a little bit farther in the game but i am running out of time to tell you that this game is on sale until the end of this month uh, july 31st 2024 for four dollars and 49 cents and for the price of this game is at this time i think i can recommend it and i'm not sponsored i'm just doing this on my own free will uh this four dollar and 49 cent price is on the microsoft xbox market i do not know if it's the same price on the playstation but if you do have an xbox one or an xbox series x you can actually for the next week get this game for four dollars 49 cents and like i said it's not sponsored. It's something that I looked into my on my own time, and I figured that for the price that it's at right now, it is a game worth checking, checking out. And uh, I don't have much of the map opened up yet. This is what I have so far. This is the neighborhood map right here. That was the location where I got the, the merchant, where I found the merchant. Um, this is all that I've opened up so far. And as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of map that still needs to be discovered. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to put this video up real quick. I wanted to share this with you that this game has appealed to me and it's very rare that a game does anymore. So if you have an extra $4.49 hanging about and you got an Xbox, give it a go. All right, I'll catch you later. Thanks for your time. Bye now.